Chromie Dank 14 with a few new coins, some that I bought and some that I found coin while hunting. First off, I got a new tripod. It's an actual tripod, not just a mini one for my iPhone. So, still kind of getting used to it, so sorry if it's a little... If I have any technical difficulties at first. But it should be alright. Um, so first two coins are proof South African coins. Uh, a couple videos back, I should do a five shilling of the same year, and these are the two and two and a half shillings to go with it. They're fifty percent silver. Have Queen Elizabeth on the front, the young head, and they are both proofs. So start off with the two shilling, and the black brown stuff is toning, not crud. Let's see if I can do this. So they are proof. The five shilling I said was proof like, but these the only option is uncirculated or proof, and they're not uncirculated. So going with proof on these ones. They're so reflective that it's hard to focus, but it's kind of the finish reminds me of um, like proof wheat scents, even though it's, those are copper and these are silver, but that's just the best example I could think of. Heavy toning. But 1955. There you go. That's the two shilling. I paid four dollars for that. And then the two and a half shilling, I paid five dollars for. Same on verse. And pretty much same reverse. So those are the two things I got at my, my coin club meeting last, last Sunday. And then I got this today. It's a toned, uncirculated Franklin. I do have a bunch of 62s, but that was a nice one. can always use it for trade or sell it, so. I'm um, going to the a and Summer Seminar in less than two weeks in Colorado Springs, so maybe I'll bring some stuff to trade there. And then things I got from my box of pennies. From the start, I'll let you look at this one because you can't tell what it is. And then we'll bring in the first one. So I did two boxes of pennies. Um, together I had over 60 wheat cents and my dad also did two boxes. He actually found a silver dime on the end of a penny roll, which was kind of weird, but not complaining. And so first box, didn't get too many wheats in the first box, but I did get this 1895 Indian in very good condition, probably. It's my quick guesstimate. You can kind of see Liberty a little bit, but this 2 by 2 it's not great. I don't know why it's being so reflective. It's just not working, I guess. Can't even see the date, but it's an 1895. 113 years old. Let's see. Is that any better? Well, you can see the date at least. Yeah, that's a little better. I saw the reverse at first, and of course I automatically knew it was an Indian sun, so that was pretty cool. And then next box. This is my second one of these I've ever found. You can see that right there. At first, I was... I looked at the dates when I was pulling out the wheat scents, and then I was just getting so many that I would just turn them over to the wheat side without looking at the date and put them in rows. And then at the end, I looked at all the dates. This is the first one I turned over, and I saw the 1909, 
at first I thought it was like, I was like, is that a 1969? But then it wouldn't be a wheat scent. So I realized it really was a 1909. Then of course, obvious thing to do is look on the back. And even though it's not too great, I could see the VBDB a second ago, but now it's not focusing. I see. I go get my loop actually. Hold on. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. Is really not working. <laughs> and I'm holding the loop in one hand and the coin in the other, and I cannot focus the camera. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to trust me on that one because it doesn't look like I'm getting the VDB in there. No, it's not focusing at all. Okay, then. There we go. Might be able to see it a little bit. Yeah, I think you can see it right there. So, sorry about that. Couldn't get it in. But, um, I showed my coin dealer that today. He said I could easily get like 10 bucks for that, so that's cool. Um, so that's pretty much what I've gotten. This I might trade eventually, not sure. Or I might just trade the not toned one and keep this one, probably. It does have one little hit on the bell though. You can see that. It's got amazing luster though. see the nice cartwheel. So that short video kind of turned into a semi-long one. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and look forward to more videos.